So now let's see how we can set up and use macros inside of Audacity. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to import out an audio file. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go around into import audio, and I'm going to select out a file right here and press open. So this is the audio uh, file that I have. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, first of all, play and see how this sounds. So let's say what I want to do is I want to reduce the sound and add in some effect over here. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here onto tools and over here you can see macros is an option. Once you click on macros, you can see that by default, there are two macros right here and macros is a collection of commands right here that uh, once you click gets applied. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new macro by clicking on the new button right here. So I'm going to say, uh, decrease volume right here. So this is going to be decrease volume and effect right here. Press OK and that's uh, applied right here. So now what I need to do is I'm, I need to go around click on insert right here and here you can see that there's different effects that you can choose from right here. So I'm going to go around right here onto amplify and then I'm going to edit the parameters. I'm going to decrease the uh, volume right here by 1 dB, 1.3 dB. Press OK. And then what happens is that I can go around here. You can see the ratio amplify that has been applied right here. So that's the first effect that is applied. And now I'm going to click on insert again and let's go around to some effect right here. So let's say I'm going to choose the Wava effect right here. I can go around into the parameters, set everything, but I'm just going to go around, leave it to default and press OK right here. You can go around, click on insert again and you can choose another effect of your choice. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around right here and I'm just going to go around right here. So let's say uh, that now there's a different things right here. So let's just go around, apply some effects. So let's just go around into um, not crossfade right here. You can go around, choose anything you want. So I'm just going to go around right here. Let's say I'm going to change the pitch, press OK right here. So on the change pitch, I'm just going to edit this. Um, from C to let's say I'm going to change the pitch really high right here. So there you go, there's the macro right here. Let me just close this and I'm going to save the changes right here. So right now, this is how it sounds. So now I'm going to press Control A to select out everything and to apply the macro that is collection of commands that you saved out, you need to go around into tools and over here in apply macro, you can see the macro that you made. So here it's decrease the volume and effect. So I'm going to go around into here and click on this. And what happens is that all of those macros get, gets applied right here. And you can see that it is processing. So this is a very heavy effect that I applied right here. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, fast forward this part. And so this is what you have. It has been processed. And now if you were to hear out the audio, it'll sound different. That means all of the effects is applied now. So what happens is that the Wava effect is there, the volume is less, and the pitch is less as well. So that is how you can set up and use macros inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.